Welcome you uh, to Rockingham County. My name is Kevin Berger. I am the chair of your board of commissioners here in Rockingham County. And on behalf of Rockingham County, I want to thank all of you for being here today as we celebrate the official opening of Ontex. There are a few distinguished guests uh, here in attendance that I do want to recognize and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we have the mayors of Madison, which is Mr. William Phillips, and of Stoneville, Miss Kathy Galvin. Uh, we have uh, city council members from Eden, which is Phil Honeycutt, uh, from Madison, Tom Rogers and Mickey Silvers, and from Stoneville, Mr. Kurt Bennett. Uh, then I have uh, some fellow uh, commissioners in attendance, Mr. Mark Richardson, Don Powell, and Charlie Hall. So thank each and every one of you for being here. To kick off this event, it's my honor to introduce to you North Carolina State Representative Reese Pirtle, who happens to be a former county commissioner and was on the board when Ontex chose this site for its first U.S. manufacturing facility. So I want to introduce you to Mr. Representative Pirtle. Well, thank you very much, Kevin, and uh, thank all of y'all again for being here for this celebration. Uh, and greetings from the General Assembly down in Raleigh. Uh, one of my colleagues that's not here today, uh, I think it'd be appropriate to recognize him, is Senator Phil Berger. He had uh, another obligation and unfortunately couldn't be here. But I wanted to share with him, you that uh, I was at another uh, ribbon cutting event and he was uh, one of the speakers. And one of the things he talked about was how North Carolina has dedicated itself to be a business friendly environment for, to attract the businesses here to our great state. And he said the, the key to that success was the formula of responsible budgeting, low taxes, reasonable regulations, and good education. And that's why, and some of you may have read that today North Carolina in one publication, publication was named the most friendly state in the United States for businesses to attract business. So with that being said, I want to uh, share with you that in May of 2020, Ontex announced their plans to open the first U.S. production facility here in Stokesdale. And as many of you know, it takes a team effort to win projects of this magnitude. Thus, I'd like to take a moment to thank the partners who worked hard with Rockingham County Economic Development Team to make this day possible. Now, part of those would be some of our county commissioners that Kevin's already mentioned, as well as the county manager and our economic development director, Lee Cochran. But we also had some help from uh, people like Pam Cunda from the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina, as well as our federal partners. And we got Mike Finley here today from Richard Burr's office. All of these folks joined together to be part of the team that made today possible. But also thank you to the North Carolina Economic Development Partnership, the North Carolina Department of Commerce, including the Rural Infrastructure Authority, who granted funding to extend the sewer to this site. The Golden Leaf Foundation, I think they're represented here today by Mr. Scott Hamilton, Mr. Ted Lloyd, and Mr. Barry Dotson, who provided funding for the new 500,000 gallon water tank that you see when you drove up, as well as Duke Energy, and of course, South Rockingham corporate park developer, Roy Carroll and his fantastic Carroll team. Thank you. 
Most importantly, though, I want to thank Ontex CEO Esther Barospa and the leadership team for trusting North Carolina and Rockingham County to be your partners in your first U.S. manufacturing facility. At this time, I would like to introduce you to Esther, CEO of Ontex Global. She has over 25 years of experience in consumer goods areas throughout marketing roles within FMCG at Pelegria, Sarah Lee, Wella, and senior profit and loft leadership roles at Whirlpool in Europe and in the United States. In her last role at Whirlpool, Esther was a member of the Global Executive Committee as Executive Vice President and President of Europe, Middle East, and Africa, having the full profit and loss responsibility for its $5 billion business in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, with 24 million employees across 35 countries, 15 production sites, and distribution to more than 140 companies. In May of 19, Esther was appointed as an independent director to the Ontex board and was named CEO effective January the 1st, 2021. It's my distinct honor to welcome Esther and thank you. Thank you, Representative Fordong, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dear Ontex colleagues. Good afternoon to you all. I am extremely pleased to join you in opening our 18th production facility within the Ontex family. I know our team has been looking forward to this day for some time. At Ontex, we create personal hygiene pro products, baby diapers and pants, feminine hygiene products, and adult care products containing sustainable features that meet the highest standards of product quality and performance. We collaborate with the world's best known retailers, partner brands, and healthcare organizations, and we are proud to be helping millions of people embrace life's many changes with our products and services. We began our Ontex journey 40 years ago with a small factory that supplied hospitals and elderly care homes in the Flanders region around the city of Brussels in Belgium, Europe. Ontex has since grown to 18 large factories in five continents with a turnover of more than $2 billion and sales in more than 110 countries. We see a growing need for our products because we make the latest innovation with the highest standard of quality and performance affordable for the many people. At the end of 2021, we outlined a new strategy with the aim to continue to strengthen our leadership position in Europe and to accelerate our growth ambitions in North America. So today, it is an exciting day for Ontex. The opening of the new Stocksdale plant is a symbol of our commitment to continue to invest and grow our business in North America and to support the millions of people who rely on our essential products every day. When taking this investment decision, North Carolina was an obvious choice for Ontex. Nearly half of the US population lives within 650 miles of this location, and this plant provides us with a complementary supply chain uh, footprint uh, across North America. As many of you know, this is not our first investment in the U.S. We started serving the U.S. in 20, 2016 when we acquired a Mexican company that supplied the U.S. West Coast from a factory located in Tijuana. Then two years later, we acquired a factory in Ritzville, an hour away from here. The great support that we received from the Rockingham County also influenced our decision to invest right here in Stocksdale. Further, the talent base within North Carolina is well recognized and I am proud of the jobs this new facility creates within the community. Today, 100 people work in this location and we look forward to quadruple the number of employees within the coming years. Finally, 
I would like to extend my gratitude and congratulations to the engineers, the builders, and other craftsmen who built this incredible facility. I'd also like to express my deep appreciation to the entire Ontex team for helping us realize this day and this dream, and for creating strong foundations to support the growth of our business in North America. And now I would like to hand over to Jim Skinner, General Manager of North America. Good afternoon. So my name is Jim Skinner and I'm responsible for the North America business for Ontex. And I'm really personally quite grateful to everybody that I see today and so many other people who aren't here today. This has been a dream for our company and for our team in the U.S. for many, many years. Esther talked about the fact that uh, this was a business that was acquired by Ontex in 2016. Even before then, we dreamed of the day when we would have manufacturing in the United States, and now we're realizing it today. <clears throat> we produce uh, baby diapers, feminine hygiene products, adult incontinence products across the Ontex network. In North America, we do private brands for leading retailers. We're honored to have uh, a couple of our, our friends from Walmart here today, and it was just a few years ago that we were sitting in a conference room and, and talking about the fact that this would be a really great way to, to grow a business together. So thank you to, to our, uh, our guests that are here today. We also do exclusive lifestyle brands using natural and earth-friendly materials. And finally, we do contract manufacturing for healthcare distributors. We see many opportunities to grow this facility and to grow the employment in the state of North Carolina. I was privileged enough to be here from the very beginning when we started looking at opportunities to manufacture in the United States. And I'll tell you that we looked at a region that started in uh, northern Mexico all the way to Ohio and everywhere in between. Uh, we went through a few different rounds and I will tell you that our, our, our friends uh, with the Economic Development Partnership. I see Alan Tai is in the, in the room here. We're very patient with us as we went through this. But we went from this very broad area to three states where we focused. So it was Georgia and the Carolinas. And our, our choice as we got further into this process became very obvious. And North Carolina was the state where we wanted to do business and we wanted to make a long-term home. And at that point, it was just, uh, where should we go in North Carolina? And I will tell you that along the way, everybody that we have worked with uh, from a state level at a county level, with all of the supporting uh, resources along the way, um, as Representative Pirtle said, very business friendly and um, very friendly people. I mean, part of it is uh, where you do business, but part of it is the people that you do business with and the character of the people. And we love being in North Carolina. I'm a, I'm a Seattle guy originally, I've lived in Georgia for 25 plus years, but I love coming to North Carolina. So I want to also talk about uh, the fact that in the process we looked at perhaps a hundred different uh, properties on paper. We visited 30 sites. Um, we saw a lot of, of the real estate in North Carolina. The funny thing is, of all those places that we looked, the absolute last location that we looked at was in Rockingham County. And we had this crazy meeting that our friends at CBRE put together with this company called Carroll Companies. And it was, it was a last minute, hey, okay, we'll take a look at this. Well, this was one of those things where a presentation was made, we saw some charts, we met some people, and it grew on us. We just thought more and more about the experience that we had, the opportunity that we saw, and the quality of what was presented. And we knew that we wanted to be partners with Rockingham County, with CBRE, and with Carroll Companies, and all of the associated companies and people with this project. So we're very happy that we made the choice that we did. So today I'd like to thank some of the people that helped us get here. Um, Ellen Tai with the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina, Colin Kaiser before Ellen, um, Lee Cockrum, Carrie Taylor, uh, 
Uh, Kevin, the entire team from Rockingham County has been fantastic. Greg Wilson, Will Henderson from CBRE uh, were, were instrumental. I really want to thank the Carroll companies, Roy Carroll and Al Leonard could not be here today. Uh, Evan Stone is representing Carroll Companies and they have been an absolutely fantastic partner. Um, we're really honored to be sort of the cornerstone of this South Rockingham Business Park. Um, the incredible team from Choate that put this building together. This is a beautiful building, wouldn't you agree? It's, it's fantastic. Um, and I want to thank all of the architect, architects, subcontractors, suppliers and many other people that helped us along the way. Finally, I want, to, I want to thank all these folks that you see in the blue shirts. I want to thank the team from Ontex. We have, uh, we've come a long way so far and we have a brilliant horizon in front of us. So thanks to our team. Um, thanks especially to, to uh, a couple of folks that, who, who uh, I think Jimmy will call out here in a moment. But um, anyway, thank you very much. And I'd like to, in sorry, I'd like to introduce Evan Stone from Carroll Company. Thank you, Jim. Any day I can be in Rockingham County is a good day. Uh, on behalf of our founder and CEO, Roy Carroll, our senior vice president, Al Leonard, I'm thrilled to join you today in this beautiful facility at the inauguration of the Ontex Global Manufacturing's first build to suit and soon to be only plant in the United States right here in Rockingham County. The Carroll Companies is a 40 plus year multi-stream development company but our partnership with Ontex in this plant represents a couple of firsts that we're very proud of. Specifically, our first project here in our Rockingham Industrial Park and our first industrial build to suit delivery. Projects such as these don't happen without significant collaboration. And so I want to thank a number of people and groups for their par par partnership. First, Ontex for allowing us and trusting us to deliver uh, an outstanding site location and facility for their first plant in the United States. Thank you. I must also thank the contractor and architect team of Choate with McMillan, Paz and Smith, as well as CBRE, Greg Smith and Will Henderson. Uh, the Economic Development Partnership in North Carolina, I didn't know Ellen was going to be here today, but thank you, Ellen. Uh, Rockingham County staff and Board of County Commissioners, and of course, Lee Cockerman, Carrie Taylor, who we work with every day uh, to bring jobs to Rockingham County. To Esther and Jim and all of you on the Ontex team, on behalf of the Carroll Companies and Carroll Industrial Development, congratulations on a beautiful facility. We are a proud partner with you and we look forward to helping you grow right here, maybe next door uh, in the coming months and years. So thank you and congratulations. So hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Justice, the Director of Manufacturing for the plant. Um, got a couple things I want to share with you before we transition to the, the next part of our festivities. First of all, thank everyone for coming. Uh, it's an exciting day. Um, you know, one of the jokes I have with uh, my team here, it's, it's always sunny in Stokesdale, so we, we want to continue that, that trend for sure. Uh, for me, the opportunity for this site and the future success of the company is tremendous. The expansion of the U.S. and the East Coast for our company is a very exciting time and I'm very happy to be a part of this uh, critical priority for us and our growth as, uh, with the company. This plant's a perfect example of what our Ontex core values is. There's passion to having the energy and determination and commitment, reliability and consistently delivering Integrity, committed to the highest standards. Uh, drive for results, so how we have that can-do mentality. Uh, and then everyone working together to, to share in, in our success. Uh, for me personally, this is these core values is uh, matched to what my personal beliefs are. And it's one of the biggest drivers why I'm here today. Super excited to, be, to see what the future holds for this site, what we continue to, to make it be and grow and then what the impact will be for the local community. Uh, before we go to the next portion of our festivities, uh, there's a, I would like to recognize the team here. I know there's been a lot of energy and effort that has went into uh, getting this operation what it, uh, where it is at today. And I, I wanna personally thank you for that. I know there's been a lot of uh, time and effort 
uh, days away from your family to being able to, to get this place stood up. So very much appreciative of that. Uh, before we, uh, and I also want to recognize uh, Yvette Cooper and Gail Rowland. They're the ones that have coordinated this, these festivities and all this. So they've done a great job. Last but not least, there's one individual I want to um, recognize. Um, this person was committed to the project early on. This person did a lot of the heavy lifting, wore multiple hats. This person is and still today, has and still today, sorry, the go-to person for many people, areas, of, regardless of areas of responsibility or questions you may have. Um, this person is an example of those on-text core values. So please join me in recognizing Jeff Nance. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff has been a go-to person uh, for a lot of us here at the plant, and uh, we appreciate everything that you do and all of the time and effort it's took to get to this place. So uh, thank you so much. So now we're going to transition to the next part of the uh, festivity. So the ushers will guide us to the front main entrance where we're going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony. So thank you, everyone. Are we ready? Thank <laughs> you. 